Welcome to Exhibit A Channel. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this one. On October 20th, 1944, General Douglas MacArthur waded ashore to the Philippines' island of Leyte with the declaration, People of the Philippines, I have returned. Nearly two years earlier, MacArthur and his family had been forced to flee the Philippines as an invading Japanese army took hold of the region. To the thousands of Filipino and American personnel left behind, General MacArthur vowed, I shall return. December 7, 1941, in a surprise attack on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor, a force of 353 Japanese aircraft killed 1,403 U.S. personnel, including 68 civilians, 129 Japanese soldiers were killed. Crowds in Times Square watch a bulletin board for latest news of war in the Pacific, following the attack on Pearl Harbor. On April 9, 1942, approximately 75,000 captured U.S. and Philippine troops were forced to march 65 miles from Marie Vellas to San Fernando, in what became known as the Bataan Death March. American Marines approach a group of Japanese-occupied buildings, reduced to rubble during the Battle of Tarawa, a Pacific at all in the Gilbert Islands which is now Kiribati. November 1943. Two U.S. officers plant the first U.S. flag on Guam, just eight minutes after U.S. Marines and Army assault troops landed on the Central Pacific Island during World War II, July 1944. Marines sit at a table drinking coffee on board a Coast Guard assault transport, after fighting to take an atoll in the Marshall Islands, in 1944. Marines crouching behind a rock take cover, as they blow up a cave connected to a Japanese bunker, Iwo Jima in 1945. U.S. Marines pose on top of Mount Suribachi, on the island of Iwo Jima, with the American flag in February 1945. An American serviceman shares his rations with two Japanese children in Okinawa, 1945. A Japanese kamikaze aircraft has just struck the deck of the U.S. aircraft carrier Saratoga, February 21, 1945. A group of Marines present a few rare cheerful smiles while aboard a United States Coast Guard manned transport, somewhere in the Pacific, 1945. Cruiser USS Santa Fe passes alongside Essex-class aircraft carrier USS Franklin, which had just been hit by a Japanese dive bomber. On August 6, 1945, the United States detonated an atomic bomb over Hiroshima and a second over Nagasaki on August 9. Six days later, Japan announced its surrender to the Allied forces. An aerial view of the damage wrought by the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, bringing a swift end to World War II. Crowds are seen celebrating victory over Japan Day in Oak Ridge, New Jersey. Secretaries, housewives, waitresses, women from all over Central Florida are getting into vocational schools to learn more work circa 1942. In a last-minute effort to avoid war, Chamberlain proposed that a four-power conference be convened immediately to settle the dispute. Hitler agreed, and on September 29th, Hitler, Chamberlain, Daladier, and Italian dictator Benito Mussolini met in Munich. A Frenchman weeps as German soldiers march into the French capital, Paris, June 14, 1940, after the Allied armies had been driven back across France. USS Shaw exploding during the Japanese raid on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. President Franklin D. Roosevelt signing the Declaration of War Against Japan, December 8, 1941. Landing on the coast of France under heavy Nazi machine gun fire are these American soldiers, shown just as they left the ramp of a Coast Guard landing boat, June 6, 1944. Nurses of a field hospital who arrived in France, via England and Egypt, after three years' service. Parker, August 12, 1944. 
standing in the grassy sod bordering row upon row of white crosses in an American cemetery. Do Dungaree clad Coast Guardsmen pay silent homage to the memory of a fellow Coast Guardsman who lost his life in action in the Ryukyu Islands circa 1945? Colonel Paul W. Tibbetts Jr., pilot of the Enola Gay, the plane that dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima, waves from his cockpit before the takeoff. The 6th of August 1945. Two women conduct marksmanship training at Roosevelt High School, Los Angeles, Caliph, circa August 1942. The Victory Course taught marksmanship to encourage girls to be proficient in handling firearms. A young woman sells war bonds and stamps and distributes war production drive literature in 1943. 